Day two, Sea Otter Tech. The lemonade's good. Let's take a look at some bikes. So this is Garmin's new Phoenix 5X watch. GPS watch, it's got a heart rate monitor built in. You can also use a strap to get really accurate heart rate readings. Record your rides with this. And a feature on this 5X is you've got this topography and mapping built in. It's got a really cool feature called course creation where you can tell it how far or how long you want to ride for and it gives you a few different options. Another cool feature are these quick release straps. So you just pull that back and it comes straight off. Really nice if you want to maybe use a rubber strap for working out and then a leather one if you're going out to the pub or something. So I'm at Cannondale. We've already seen the new Jackal. Jerome Clements was riding a prototype with the Andy Pacifico, but they also have a new Trigger. So this is a 145 mil travel bike, 27.5 inch wheels, and it's got this Fox shock with this Gemini system. So that gives you uh, not a lockout, it actually reduces the travel. So it's 145 on the open setting, it goes down to 115 millimeters when you flick that switch up on the bar. We're over at Commensal and look at the range of kids' bikes they've got. They've got the Meta Hardtail Junior, that's 27.5 inch wheels. And then we've got a 24, a 20, a 16, a 14, and then a 12. So the kids are completely sorted. But check this one out. This is a 20 inch Supreme. It's a proper little mountain bike, this. Full suspension, little disc brakes. Kids can absolutely shred on that. So we've come all the way to the US. We've bumped into a British company. This is Hope, and they're launching their new carbon bar, all made in the UK. It's a 31.8 mil bar, 780 mil wide and 20 mil rise. So you can see a cross section of the bar here, really nice and clean inside, no excess resin, all made in-house just like their carbon fibre frame. Another British company, White, have this 905 Trail Hardtail here. Really modern looking bike, it's long, short stem on the front, it's slack, it's got boost 148 spacing on the rear and a really nice little touch, that integrated seat clamp into the frame. Douchebags, the Norwegian luggage company, have launched a bike bag. It's got a couple of really neat features. You've got a pedal pocket for each pedal so they don't slide around and scratch each other. All the straps to keep your bike nice and secure. That pad to stop your chain ring dragging on the floor. And it's a bit of a hybrid between a soft and a hard case bag, so really protective but still keeps that weight down. They've also got a road bike bag which has some really neat touches. You've got this sort of extension on the side which means you don't have to take the bars off got the frame to bolt your bike into, super neat. This is the Zero Tenifa. it's 160 mil travel enduro race bike, it's based around 27.5 inch wheels but one thing you will notice probably is it's got this gearbox so it's fully integrated pinion 12 speed gearbox, really unusual. This is the first ever carbon fibre frame designed around using the pinion gearbox, obvious advantages of that are obviously you get rid of that rear mech on the back sort of a place where you can knock that rear mech off in rocks, things like that. And you can also change gear without pedaling. This is the Ethos Components Helmet Light. It's really lightweight, it's carbon fiber, aluminium. It's got this really cool touch sensitive switch on the back to turn it on and off. So really easy to do that. The best thing about this is super lightweight, it's 95 grams, so designed to really easily mount your helmet and you won't even notice that weight at all. We're over at Crank Brothers and they have a few new products. This is their new Mallet Downhill Pedal, really popular pedal with downhill racers. And the new features are, you see these traction pads, so same as their enduro pedals, you can replace these shims with different sizes just to get that really good feel through the sole of your foot. Also got these chamfered edges just to cut down on those rock strikes, keep you moving forward. They've also got this ingenious little trail pump called the Click Pump. Really nice, lightweight. Best feature about this is inside here, you've got this magnetic adapter. Clicks on, gives you that flexibility to pump away without damaging your valves at all. And last but not least at Crank Brothers, they've now launched the Highline Dropper Seat Post in 160mm drop option and 100mm, adding to the 125mm they already have. We're over at Ellsworth checking out their bikes and this is their pro rider, Brian Lopes' Husky motorbike. There's Ellsworth trail bike mounted to the back. Fancy a go on this bad boy. Hey, 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 no touching bro, no touching. Sorry Brian. You're not touched. This is Tapui rooftop tents. They make this tent that fits right to the top of your truck or car. Folds flat when you don't want to use it. They're really popular with the outdoor sort of adventure market, but I think this would make a brilliant accessory for a mountain bike holiday. Want to see more videos from GMBN? Click on this logo to subscribe. Click down there for another tech video from Sea Otter and down there for the latest Dirt Shed show.
I'm teched out. I'm going to bed.